Uh, some people were too shady for words, so <sighs> straight from the A, posted a crazy article about Sheree Whitfield from The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 9. Now, I love me since Sheree Whitfield. Why? Because she's fine with a big old booty. So, you know, I'm Team Sheree all the way. But anyways, they posted the story on January 9th of 2017. It was written by ATLian, which I think was like a outcast album title or something. But anyways, the title of the article was <laughs> the January 9th article was titled Chateau Woes, hashtag R-H-O-A. Sheree Whitfield's landscaper files 10K lawsuit for unpaid services. They posted a picture of Sheree with her hands out. <laughs> and it says, like out to the side. And it says, I can't even live here. So why should I pay the contractors? <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't shit for posting that picture. I would have never in a million years, man. I'm Team Sheree all the way. I'm happy that she asked Chateau Sheree. And I'm a believer. So I, I just, I can't co-sign that shit. But anyways, here's what they wrote about it. Another day, another lawsuit for Sheree Whitfield of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. In the ongoing saga of her unfinished, quote, Chateau Sheree, Whitfield is now faced with yet another legal battle. Sheree has been busy pretending that she... <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I'm not on TV laughing while trying to read the prompter. <laughs> it was straight from the A, A to Alien. Stop, please. Back to the article. Sheree has been, <laughs> Sheree has been busy pretending that she's living <laughs> in her <laughs> uninhabitable chateau. Click here if you missed that. But it seems she's not. <laughs> It seems she's not paying the people she hired to make it look livable. <laughs> They're so full of shit. Her house is fine. Listen, listen. For the record, let, let me. I'm not trying to talk shit about ATL, but listen, just people in general. Don't hate on Sheree because she has the baddest house on the block. She has a house that matches her. She she knows she's bad, so she needs a dope house. Listen, I'm a believer. Anyways. Back to the story. Now, another contractor who she hired to assist her with landscaping and other work required to obtain her certificate of occupancy is suing Sheree for over $10,000 for failing to pay. In new legal documents filed last week, the contractor claims, pause the story right there. Once again, this is a claim. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't mean it's not true either. Remember, the contractor claims for the record. <laughs> The contractor claims Whitfield flat out told him she didn't have the dough after he did the job and later decided to refuse to pay him anything because she was, quote, unsatisfied. Details plus court documents below. Now, for the record, let me interject one more time. I promise this, this will be the last time. What if he did shitty work? Anybody ever think that? Instead of shading Sheree, maybe see it from her perspective, maybe that maybe things went down like that but anyway back to the story Sheree can't possibly be serious about trying to live in her mold infested chateau <laughs> you're telling me that big ass mega mansion is mold infested are they, are they sure about that anyways Sheree can't possibly be serious about living in her rather about trying to live in her mold infested chateau especially since she can't even pay any of her contractors in a new lawsuit filed January 3rd of 2017 in Fulton County <clears throat> in Fulton County Magistrate Court Cody Roberts of Heritage Landscape claims that Sheree stiffed his company out of over $10,000 for services rendered Mrs. Whitfield contracted the landscaping services of Heritage Landscape to help in the completion of her home, as well as to help her get the certificate of occupancy pertaining to the landscaping and erosion. Mrs. Whitfield has paid some, less than half of her bill, although she was happy with the work. At first, she claimed she did not have the money. Then, she claimed poor quality work. We would just like to get the balance owed. The company is suing for a total of $10,512.50. Damn! At this rate, Sheree will never get the certificate of occupancy. Sigh. 
or oh, I guess I should have just said it anyway. What do you think of Sheree's latest legal battle regarding her chateau? And they showed a picture of her uh, sweeping some dust or whatever off. I, I don't know if that's the front porch or I, I, I don't know what part of the house that is on the outside. But anyways, they posted the actual document from Heritage Landscape. So it looks like it could be legit. I mean, I don't think this is just some Internet shit. I, I guess it's, you know. I guess it's true that somebody does want money from her. That doesn't mean she did anything wrong. You know? I would love to know what she has to say about it. Sheree says something different. Listen, I'm going to be on Sheree's side because I, I always side with good looking women. Uh, that's just, hey, this is the way I roll. You know? Call me a simp all you want, but that's the way I roll. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy, man. Listen, Sheree, listen, I'm rich. I have $14 million. If Sheree needs $10,512.50, I got that. That's easy. You know, I'll make that in a day at my job. I know y'all saying, Tommy, you ain't got no job, but fuck y'all. And at the end of the day, you know, I could just, I could just slide her the, the 10512 Matter of fact, I'm going to slide her in Sheree's DMs and, and let her know, you know, and I, I'll pay the shit for her if it's true. But anyways, this is all my opinion. I love seeing Sheree win. I think that some people want to apparently tear her down, in my personal opinion. You know, uh, people with some really unwarranted shade that they're just throwing on her. Just buckets of shade. I, I don't get it. But anyways, I don't really know too much about Sheree other than... I think she looks good. I, I wasn't watching the show when she was on it. I know that she's, I guess, supposed to be back for season nine or whatever, but, you know... I haven't tuned in for season nine, so everybody let me know in the comments how good season nine has been. I've been asking that over and over again, and people said that it was, you know, pretty good. So I haven't heard anybody say that they don't like the season, so that's good. So good for her. I mean, I mean, she's one of the cast members, and the show was popping like that, where everybody's saying, "Oh no, this is a good season." Then hey, you know, good for y'all, good for the fans, and good for the stars. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just an asshole with a microphone. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. I just can't wait for when Sheree gets all the kinks worked out, you know, and everything is running smoothly and the house is all together and everything. I can't wait to see the haters' reaction. You know what they're probably going to say? All the haters are going to be like, well, it took her forever to do it, though. Oh, please. But she's going to get it done. For what I've seen, she's made major progress. Major progress. Things are almost done and y'all still hating. Like I said, once it's completely finished, you're probably still going to be hating. More than likely. Because that's just what you do. You're just some haters. But this is all my opinion. For what I know, just a guy with a microphone. Me Magazine. Psh, haters. <laughs>